guys in today's video we are going to look at the next level in my blogs if you haven't watched the previous video of my blogs click on the above link to watch it now let's get started in our project so now let's head over to our my blogs category and then make a block which says clone position and then press number of text blocks So we have our simple sprite over here and now let's program our sprite. So head over to events block and grab when click block. And now go to control block and now let's take our great clone of myself block. And now we're going to program that clone with clone position. And now we're going to motion block and then we're going to grab our two X position and Y position blocks. And then put them in the go to block. And now we're going to write some random numbers. And let's have 50 for the x-axis. And let's have about 100 for the y-axis. So what our clone position block is doing is that it's going to the position of 50 in the x-axis and 100 in the y-axis. So what we're writing in here, it's just basically the same number that the y-axis has or the x-axis. So they both have same numbers that we write in here. So if we click our green flags, so our clone should be at 50 x-axis and 100 y-axis. So here it is. So that's what these two blocks do. So it's basically when clicked, create a clone of myself. When I start as a clone, clone position 50 and 100, delete this clone. So the 50 and the 100 is basically, so this is the 50 and this is the 100. It's like algebra. So the X position will be replaced by 50 and the Y position will be replaced by 100 with these two blocks. So this is how it works. So I'm going to share this project with you all in the link in the description and I'm also going to share it in scratch. So you can always have a look at it. Hey guys, if you want to look at other videos like how to draw in scratch, click the above link to watch it.
or if you want to look at platformer click the above link to watch it as well and thanks for watching this video